Hello, I'm Dr. Amir, your online health physician. Today we will discuss a disease called typhoid fever. But before we start our session, kindly subscribe to the channel and share in your loved one. Doctor, what is typhoid fever? Typhoid fever is a bacterial infection caused by Salmonella typhi. It spreads through contaminated food and water. Symptoms include high fever, headache, abdominal pain, and diarrhea. Proper sanitation and vaccination are essential for prevention, and antibiotics are used for treatment. Untreated cases can lead to severe complications. Dr. Amir, what is the difference between typhoid and paratyphoid? Typhoid and paratyphoid are both caused by different strains of the Salmonella bacterium. Typhoid fever is caused by Salmonella typhi, while paratyphoid fever can be caused by Salmonella paratyphi A, B, or C. The symptoms and modes of transmission are similar, but the severity and specific characteristics may vary. What is enteric fever? Enteric fever is a collective term used to describe a group of infectious diseases caused by the Salmonella bacterium. These diseases primarily affect the intestines and are commonly transmitted through contaminated food and water. Dr. Amir, is typhoid an enteric fever? Yes, typhoid fever is a type of enteric fever. Enteric fever is a broader term that encompasses both typhoid fever, caused by Salmonella typhi, and paratyphoid fever, caused by Salmonella paratyphi A, B, or C. Both conditions are characterized by systemic infections primarily affecting the gastrointestinal tract. Dr. Amir, how typhoid fever happens? Typhoid fever occurs when a person ingests food or water contaminated with the Salmonella typhi bacterium. The bacteria then invade the intestines and enter the bloodstream, causing the characteristic symptoms of high fever, abdominal pain, and other systemic effects. In some cases, individuals can become asymptomatic carriers and continue to shed the bacteria and in their feces, contributing to its transmission. Dr. Amir, how does typhoid spread? Typhoid is typically spread through the consumption of contaminated food or water that contains the Salmonella typhi bacterium. It can also be transmitted by coming into direct contact with an infected person's feces or urine. Poor sanitation inadequate hand washing, and contaminated water sources contribute to its transmission. Dr. Amir, what are the signs and symptoms of typhoid fever? The signs and symptoms of typhoid fever usually develop one to three weeks after exposure to the Salmonella typhi bacterium. Common symptoms include high fever, often increasing gradually over several days headache. Abdominal pain and discomfort. Weakness and fatigue. Loss of appetite. Diarrhea or constipation. Rose-colored spots on the chest or abdomen. Confusion or delirium, in severe cases. If someone you know experienced these symptoms, especially after traveling to an area with a high risk of typhoid, it's crucial to seek medical attention promptly for proper diagnosis and treatment. Dr. Amir, which countries are most vulnerable to typhoid fever? Countries with inadequate sanitation and limited access to clean drinking water are most vulnerable to typhoid fever. Developing regions in South Asia, Southeast Asia, Africa, and parts of Latin America are often at higher risk due to poor sanitation facilities, crowded urban areas, 
and limited healthcare resources. If you suspect you have typhoid fever, seek medical attention immediately. Contact a healthcare professional who can conduct a thorough examination, perform necessary tests, and provide appropriate treatment. Do not delay seeking medical help, as early intervention is crucial to managing the infection and preventing severe complications. Dr. Amir, which age group is more affected by typhoid? Typhoid fever can affect people of all age groups, but certain age ranges may be more vulnerable. Children and young adults are often at higher risk due to their developing immune systems and potential exposure in schools or crowded living conditions. However, anyone without immunity or proper vaccination can be susceptible to typhoid infection. Dr. Amir, is typhoid harmful during pregnancy? Typhoid fever can have serious consequences for pregnant women and their unborn babies. It may lead to premature birth, low birth weight, or even miscarriage. The infection can also pose risks for the mother's health. Pregnant women should seek immediate medical attention if they suspect they have typhoid symptoms. Dr. Amir, how is typhoid diagnosed? Typhoid fever is diagnosed through various methods, including Blood tests to detect antibodies or the bacterium. Stool culture to identify the bacterium. Bone marrow culture, in severe cases. Serological tests. Polymerase chain reaction, PCR, tests. A healthcare professional interprets the results and confirms the diagnosis based on clinical symptoms and test findings. Dr. Amir, can typhoid fever be prevented? Yes, typhoid fever can be prevented. Vaccination is an effective preventive measure, especially for travelers visiting high-risk areas. Practicing good hygiene, drinking clean and safe water, eating properly cooked food, and maintaining proper sanitation can significantly reduce the risk of contracting and spreading typhoid fever. Dr. Amir, how is typhoid fever treated? Typhoid fever is typically treated with antibiotics. Commonly prescribed antibiotics include ciprofloxacin, ceftriaxone, and azithromycin. Adequate hydration, rest, and maintaining proper nutrition are also essential for recovery. It's crucial to complete the full course of antibiotics as prescribed by a healthcare professional to ensure complete eradication of the bacteria. Dr. Amir, what diet should we take for typhoid fever? During typhoid fever, it's essential to follow a specific diet to support recovery and prevent further complications. The diet should focus on easily digestible and non-irritating foods. Here are some dietary recommendations. Clear fluids. Drink plenty of fluids like water, clear soups, and electrolyte solutions to prevent dehydration. Soft and bland foods. Consume soft foods like boiled rice, boiled potatoes, cooked fruits, and well-cooked vegetables. Avoid spicy, fried, and heavy foods. Stay away from foods that may irritate the digestive system. Small and frequent meals. Eat small, frequent meals to avoid overloading the digestive system. Avoid raw fruits and vegetables. Cooked or canned fruits and vegetables to reduce the risk of ingesting the bacteria. Always follow the advice of a healthcare professional or dietitian to ensure that the diet is appropriate for your individual condition. Dr. Amir, 
What is the recovery time from typhoid fever? The recovery time from typhoid fever varies from person to person and depends on the severity of the infection and the individual's overall health. With proper medical treatment, most people start to show improvement within a week or two, but complete recovery may take several weeks to a few months. Thank you Dr. Amir, it was wonderful knowledge shared with everyone. Wish to see you with another health topic. Goodbye. Goodbye and share your comments for today's session. Also subscribe the channel and share with your loved ones.